Welcome to the Bourbon Doctors. I'm Albert. This is Chad. And today, we're going to talk about Irish whiskey. Why? You said, why would we do that? I, I do kind of wonder That's why. That's the first thing is, yeah. is, why are you, this is, this is a Bourbon Doctors. This is not, this is not the Irish Whiskey Doctors. Why Irish Whiskey? Because I just went to Ireland. I just visited my son in Dublin. He's hey, going to school there. Since, and Since I want to Jamaica tomorrow, are we going to do the Rum Doctors when I get back? You notice we didn't change our name. No, we're not. We we're could not do rum, do no, but we're we, not, won't, we're not we gonna won't do the wrong doctors. No, we're we'll not still be do. bourbon doctors. Yeah. But Irish whiskey is just their form of bourbon, essentially. It is, you know, yeah, yeah. What's the first thing you got to have to be called Irish whiskey? I think it has to be Irish. It has to be made in Ireland. Yeah. There you go. There you go. I'm but a smart guy. Differences. Bourbon, you know, the corn, this is mostly barley, malted yeah. barley yeah. Yeah. Uh, as a base. Uh, it's triple distilled, and then it is aged in already used casks. In fact, they use, for many of these, bourbon casks, wine casks. This is sherry and wine yeah, cask. Mm -hmm. This one is in, if I remember correctly, bourbon casks. I think Redbreast is bourbon cask too, isn't it? Um, I think well, so. Well, they'll sometimes age it for like three years in one and then take it out yeah, ten is, months in another. This is bourbon too, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so they, they use already used casks, and so it's not the... the like I'm in America where it can be a oak charred oak cask. It has to be new. One time. Yeah, one time. And then they take and they ship it over to Ireland and they age their whiskey in it, you know. Um, so while I was there, I tried some stuff and I liked it. Now, here's what we're going to say. It's very different than bourbon. To me, it's lighter. It's fruitier almost. Sure. Is that a good way to put it? I don't know. I guess. I don't drink a lot it of Irish whiskey. It has more fruit tones. And... Uh, I don't know. I, I liked it when I was there, and I thought, let's talk about this a little bit. I want to give a shout out to a couple people. Like it, I went to Teeling and toured, and Kean, our bartender, was fantastic. Our tour guide, and I forget her name now. I'm blanking on her. Good job. She Way to from, send that shout out. She's from Kentucky, but she was wonderful. And then now she lives in Ireland, and we loved that the, the Jameson Distillery was fantastic. You know how you get it in Ireland? The other thing that's odd. This is high proof in Ireland. This is 100 proof. And Wait, you just said that's high proof. In, it's not. Well, to th their perception is that once it hits 100, it's, that's, that's a strong whiskey. Whereas I just bought a bottle today that's 131. 30, yeah. 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 That was... It's not strong. So, you guys in Ireland, it's not wrong, y'all. Yeah. Not, and I, that's not an And Irish they do thing. have the option. You know strong. how you get a... Yeah. If I went to Jameson and you wanted a bottle of cast strength whiskey, you know how you get it? What happens? They give you an empty bottle and you go fill it right out of the cask. Kentucky Distilleries, you're missing out on an opportunity. Let's let's Yeah, you get this bottle this and they put yeah. your name on it and they put it right on there like it's your yeah. special label and then you go right to the cask, you fill it up. There's your cast that, that sounds interesting, at least. Yeah. So I don't. Let's try them. I'm not. I'm not an Irish whiskey guy. I'm a bourbon doctor. So, so Chad's going to tell me that Jameson that I should Black be Black Barrel Proof this at 100 proof. 100 proof. It is sort of their in between sweet spot. Jameson Regular Barrel Proof is 80. This is or Black Barrel. This is 100, and then the cast strength generally runs about 120. There, if you get it. Now I am not. Uh, Irish whiskey educated. I'm not. I don't know a lot about it. Uh, what I think of Jameson is yeah, mostly really. like uh, you're at some party and some dude is like, "Hey, you want some, some of the Jameson, good stuff?" Yeah, and they pull out a bottle of Jameson. Jameson like, Green eh? is is literally to me like the Irish equivalent of Jim Beam White, White or even yeah. you know your yeah. Jack Daniels. But you enjoyed this. You this one you had that in, one I liked. Okay, this one I liked. The Jameson Green, I, I can take it or leave it. I, I I don't think I've ever bought a bottle of Jameson Green. Yeah. Now the Teeling, Teeling. I mean, I've had Teeling before. This is just a small batch. That, that's their available that's their here, base right? whiskey, small batch. Okay. It's ninety two proof, and I think it's probably, at least in my opinion, the best Irish whiskey I have tried. Oh, interesting. Yes. Okay. And then the Red Breast this is a Red Breast twelve. What's the proof on this? This is God. I'm oh, dude, I'm yeah, freaking yeah, old as all get out. Um, eighty proof is what it is. Wow, that that's I don't I don't I mean that's, that's like I don't I don't mess with eighty proof hardly anymore. Yeah. Like, all right. Well, so this, this is hundred. So this 92, is ninety two eighty. This is Jamo. Yep. This is the Jameson Black Barrel proof. 
And damn it, I skipped right to the taste. Um, no, it's tough on. It's a little bit tougher on the nose. I found Irish whiskey. When you smell it, it's on very, the nose. It comes across as pretty strong, but then when you taste it, it's not. It's 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 a it's a lighter. To me, like I said, it's a lighter. It's almost like light beer versus dark beer. It's it's a it just tastes lighter. I don't know if it truly is. I mean, but. on the nose, I get a lot of uh, I get a lot of oak and and you know leather, tobacco, earthy kind of scents, mm-hmm. right? Not I don't get the the produce or the sweet sweet caramel vanilla kind of butterscotch hey, stuff. It's good. I like it. I, I, I get where you're going though in terms of the light beer. Mm-hmm. It doesn't it I'm it drinks this is the hundred proof, That's right? It's a hundred proof. And I feel like this drinks like an eighty. Mm-hmm. It's really easy. It's really smooth. Mm-hmm. Smooth. Um and I, I, I appreciate likes when you use that, but it is I think yeah. smooth is a reasonable term. It's it's use. light, it's it's got a bright flavor. And I know bright is not a flavor, bright's like a visual descriptor, not a palette descriptor, but that's that's what I get. Um, mm-hmm. Maybe some citrus, but but certainly not the the, the deep caramelly sweetness of a no. bourbon. To me, this is a, a like a summer sipper. Yeah, yeah, you I know, can see that in the summer when it's you know this is just it's it's not as as deep and rich as some of the bourbons. Yeah. And I get I and we have some some friends and acquaintances that are, are Irish whiskey people, mm-hmm. and. I mean, I and then I talk about bourbon, and they're like, "Yeah, bourbon's too sweet." I could see that. This is not nearly as sugary sweet as a bourbon. Try that teeling. Well, now I, we're I, 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 like, the I like the teeling. I like it. It's it's it's. I'm trying to take. I can't I, place the flavor. It's almost like banana. Oh yeah. I get, a, I, get I get banana. I didn't even get it to my mouth, but. When I taste it, try. Yeah, it. I could see that. It, this one it tastes the smell. Sorry, the smell is less woody, earthy. Yeah, that the teeling is lighter and it's just sweeter. I get a like, I, I that's the first thing that came to mind was banana. Yeah, I get the banana. Oh, but it, I don't like this because it's the artificial banana. Here's what it tastes like to me: banana cream pie. And I love banana cream. Oh, pie. that does not taste like banana cream pie. That tastes I like, love banana cream pie. I, I will. I will eat some banana cream pie. All right, red breast. Red breast. Go for it. Oh, now this one, see, the sherry and the the, the bourbon cast really comes out in the nose a little bit. Oh, yeah. It's a very light bourbon, or very this light This one's whiskey. 80 proof, man. Try it. I mean, it almost, it almost tastes watered down. Oh, me. my God. This is like guzzle juice, man. You can yeah, be I like, mean, that, that tastes watered down It's to me. super it's watery. Like, How funny. It doesn't even taste like no, whiskey. No, I agree. This is super water. Now, you know, caveat of what you drink earlier. I started my day with uh, the last of my Discovery Six. What do you mean you started like at seven a.m.? Well, like like, like an hour ago, I, I had a glass <laughs> I started of which my day at one hundred and twenty proof. One hundred and twenty proof bourbon. You know, I started at one hundred and twenty. Right, now right we're going back the other way. Went off or what? You slap the alarm. <laughs> You chug some bourbon, <laughs> uh, yeah. So, but so you know, going backwards, this tastes really watered down. It does. I, I red breast tastes like a, a watered down whiskey. Yeah, it does. It's but, got uh, of these. That was very banana-y to me. Yeah, and you don't like it because it's a the I weird banana. The that weird died banana. And, yep. and went extinct. This is very. Look it up. I'm not wrong. That that was my that was the one I liked the best out of the three so far. Okay, let me ask you this: Would you ever buy a, a bottle? Like, if you went to the store and said, "Look, I got, I, I I'm looking for something. Is there an occasion where you would buy this?" I mean, let's say you're you're going to my good friend's house, Michael Patrick O'Brien. So that's <laughs> the only time I would buy this because if I'm buying this and you're for my buying it and you say. This is a this is you got to get this guy an Irish whiskey. If he's named Michael Patrick O'Brien, sure. I'm gonna Mike, buy him if an you're Irish watching, question. hopefully you're watching. Mike's in lives in. Uh, but here's what, what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be Chad Bus. What'd you pay for this? What'd you pay for this? What'd you pay for that? Eighty euro. Eight? Are we in Europe? What is it? Eighty euro. 80 it's like a hundred bucks. Ninety bucks. Ninety bucks. Yeah. 
37. And I know this one's about 60, 65. This is by far the cheapest. And you can get this at most liquor stores. This was, in the US. what did you say? 37. 37. 37. So Euros dollars. or a dollar? dollars? You dollars. can get it at MGM here. Okay. So, I mean, this is the one that I like the best. And what you, this was 80 euros for those mm -hmm. of you in Europe. That makes sense to you. For those of us in America, that means it's $90. $90 buy me some good-ass whiskey. Yeah. And I'm I'm buying bourbon. I shouldn't say good-ass whiskey. It buys me some good bourbon that I will drink over all of these. Because, let, to be right. honest, I like the vanilla, the caramel. I like, I like the proofier bourbons. I'm a bourbon doctor. Is there an occasion to buy the stuff? Yes. Yes. If I'm that going a really to good Irish friend Michael O'Flannery's house, I'm or, taking him some Jameson. Uh, St. Patrick's Day. Sure, St. Patty's Day. I mean, we had for St. Patty's Day. What did we have? We had Kentucky. Owl. We had Kentucky Owl for St. Patty's Day, but but you know. All right. Would you have that? Because that's well, that's about one hundred twenty. That was a hundred twenty dollar bottle. That's ninety. Oh. I'd go with that. Cause that wasn't that good. That no, that wasn't bad. It just wasn't that good. It wasn't that good. I, I, it's probably better than that. So I mean, I think at the end of the day, these three whiskeys, they're they're good whiskeys. I don't I don't mind them. They're they're good. They're good. I'd rather drink bourbon. I agree. That being said, these aren't bad whiskeys. They're just and and here's what I'm gonna tell you because I know this is just like taste stuff, man. Oh, There's stuff this is people all like. Subjective. Some people like. Coney dogs. Some people don't. Who doesn't like a Coney dog? I don't. I don't like Coney dogs. I don't like them. I've been there. I lived in Detroit for six years. I don't and like Coney that, dogs. That, ladies and gentlemen, was the end of the bourbon dog. But what I would say is some people love Irish whiskey and would rather have this than bourbon. That's great. And tell us, please comment and yeah. say, you guys are idiots. I love Irish whiskey and you don't try the best one. Try this. Yeah, green try spot, if there's yellow something spot. we didn't try, two or more do Bushmills. Bushmills. There's tons of them. Oh, it's, good. it's good. It's good whiskey. I just like bourbon better. We're still the bourbon doctors. Fine. Like, comment, subscribe. Bourbon is for drinking. And in this case, yeah. Irish whiskey. Whiskey is for drinking. drinking. All right. Peace.